Good afternoon, everyone. This is Josh Simonson with the Polar Team 2 Training Department. Today, what we're going to review is how to remove a base station and add a new one. So, step one, we go to Tools. Then we select Preferences. Then the base station USB dongle window will pop up. We'll highlight our base station that we want to remove and select Remove. At this time, you're going to see an error message come up. It's going to say base station USB dongle properties have changed. And then in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a yellow flashing um, warning sign. What that indicates is that the transmitters need to be reintroduced to the base station. All right, so next steps, what you're going to do, you're going to turn on your base station. You're going to insert the Ethernet cable. You will then power up the base station. You will wait for lights 1 and 2 to illuminate. As soon as they illuminate, you can see here how my base station number has changed now to 03215086. So this means the new base station has been added. All right. So what I'm going to do next is now click on transmitters. Okay. You will notice now that all of my transmitters have the yellow warning emblem next to them. So what you'll do is plug in your first set of transmitters. Once you have them plugged in, unplug them, replug them right back in, and you should get a triple beep. Uh, in that process, what's going to happen is they're going to start to power up. You will look for a number three light on your base station, which is what I'm waiting for at this moment. And then once you have a number three light, you will start to see that the transmitters start to appear in charger like they are right now. Once the yellow warning emblem goes away, you will see now that I have actual battery power listed here for each one of my transmitters. And you can see that one has 50%. So all I need to do is to wait for the number of transmitters I have in the charging station to appear. Once that happens, I'll uh, pull them out, and then I will keep adding transmitters until I have all of the yellow emblems removed from my system. And as you can see up here in the upper right-hand corner, that it says three transmitters are connected, but still the yellow warning. And I will come back down here, and you can start to see how they slowly start to add. This process can take anywhere from one to five minutes to get all the transmitters and depending on the number of transmitters you have. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Josh Simonson or josh.simonson at polarfi or josh.simonson at polarusa.com. Thanks and have a great day.